If you're a fan of the BBC television series Spooks, you may recall a recent episode in which the British Security Service remotely identifies a man on the street from CCTV footage based on the characteristics of his walk. Every one of us has a distinctive way of walking, which could be used for recognition at a distance. In reality, gate recognition technology cannot yet automatically pick up someone from a crowd with 100% certainty. At the National Physical Laboratory, we've been developing a system in which biometric gate recognition can help security operatives in tracking the position of individuals as they move through a monitored area. The system demonstrates the use of gate recognition in a real environment and is integrated with a 3D model able to show the current and previous locations a person has visited. This work is part of a project called VSAR, Viewers, Situational and Spatial Awareness for Applied Risk and Reasoning. The project, which is supported by the Technology Strategy Board, is a collaboration between leading players in an emerging technology, including CAST, the Centre for Advanced Software Technology, the BBC, British Aerospace and ourselves, NPL. The National Physical Laboratory is the UK's National Measurement Institute and is a world-leading centre of excellence in developing and applying the most accurate measurement standards to science and technology. Let us show you the tool we've developed to be applied in security. A computer-aided design of NPL has been used to create a 3D model of the NPL building. This is then combined with video feed from cameras placed around NPL. The result is a bit like navigating around a computer game. The VSAR model shows positions of the CCTV cameras, the field of view of each camera, the gate recognition points, and can show live feed from CCTV cameras at the camera locations in the building. Let's see the system in operation. A visitor arrives at NPL car park. As he walks towards the entrance, he's viewed by the security cameras and a gate signature is recorded. The system operator sees that the visitor is inside the building and can ask the system to identify whether the person has been at other locations. In this case, the system reports that it has recorded a person with a matching gate signature on three previous occasions. The operator can examine images of the previous sightings, the time they were made, and their locations in the building. The results show the visitor outside the entry to the building, inside the building where the gate recognition was just requested. In addition, the results reveal that the same person has also crossed the bridge from one part of the building to another. We'll now explain a little about how a gate signature is created in our system. As the person walks along the corridor, each frame of the video feed is processed to separate a walking subject from the background. From the combined silhouettes, we can see that the head height rises and falls as part of the natural cycle of walking. This is used to select a single gate cycle for generating the gate signature. We can measure the person's height, since the mathematical relationship between a point in the image and the positions in the real world is computed when the cameras are set up. We can also measure the stride length. A gate signature is generated from all the silhouettes in the gate cycle. The gate signature can be represented by a set of numbers. Every time a person walks, they produce a similar set of numbers which can be used for recognition. Ultimately, this provides a security system that combines real-time video and automated biometric recognition. It presents results in an interactive and intuitive 3D model and which provides a security control room with a better spatial understanding of events and locations than could be achieved with a wall of seemingly unrelated cameras.